Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we'll be working with the Master Valia Orchid. We're gonna do a little update on it. If you remember, I received this orchid from a viewer. It spent one month in transport, didn't handle it well. I've tried to rehabilitate it. I've put it into my mini greenhouse in high humidity. Sadly, my humidifier broke at some point and then I decided I'm not gonna invest into a new humidifier just yet because colder season was near and I kind of left it outside. And you will see, let's take a closer look. The uh, new growths that were produced are really, really shriveled. Well, actually I should say mangled as you can see. Um, some of the leaves are dead, I need to clean it up. But this orchid is producing some good looking new growth finally. I already see some new roots starting, so I want to make this orchid a little better. I want to clean it up, I want to re-repot it because I left some roots on this orchid, I have a feeling they're dead, this orchid is not established, so I can definitely go in once again. When an orchid is established, particularly with clay pots, and by established I mean roots growing and attaching to the clay pot, it's not a good idea to intervene once again because you're disturbing it, but I have reasons to believe this orchid is really not attached to anything, so I can go back in. This orchid is potted way too high in my opinion as well, so I want to adjust that, cut away all the dead roots, clean it up, do it some justice. And I thought I should take you along so we see how everything looks. The Mastovalia, I believe, is not an orchid suited for my climate, but I want to give them a go because I never know. And I'm very thankful for receiving this orchid and I really want to do it justice. So first, let us remove these stakes, which were absolutely needed. Bad thing with bamboo stakes, they tend to mold. And that's not a good thing, so I usually remove the stakes, but this orchid needed support. I don't know why they're bamboo stakes, since they, they mold and bamboo, as far as I know, is not supposed to mold, but anyway. So, let's see. You can see this orchid is so wobbly. Yes, as I suspected, no roots growing inside the pot, and all of these roots... Oh, this might still be alive, but these roots, they're dead, they need to go away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up this orchid. Okay, I found something nice. That is a root tip. Okay, so I'll be a little careful in cleaning up this orchid. She wants to grow. That's really exciting news for me. So I have a sterilized pair of pruners right here. I sterilize my pruners with alcohol and then I flame them. And actually I'm gonna start with the leaves. One of them came off. Oh, I thought this leaf was good, but no, apparently not. I suspect the older leaves will fall on their own anyway. Maybe I will not need the pruners. Okay, this leaf can be cut, let's see. Yep. So I'm starting with the leaves just because if I would start with the roots, I would need to re-sterilize this orchid before I went in for the leaves. Roots staying more moist, there's a high chance I have quite a lot of bad bacteria here than I have in the air part of the orchid. Oh, I see another root tip here. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and remove carefully all of these roots that are dead. And this will be a long process, I don't wanna bore you, I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so I discovered I had quite a few leads that were dead and the vast majority of the dead roots were coming from these leads. So I cut the rhizome as best as I could and here is the finished result. Yeah, it could have been better, really, but I have root tips in this mess right here. You can see one there and I really don't want to damage them. I also discovered a new growth which looks promising if I can find it. Here it is, looks quite promising. So I did discover a lot of new growth, quite a lot of new roots and I really don't want to disturb them. And these roots are still viable. I don't know if they're gonna die but I think it would be best to leave them on. In any case, the orchid looks better than it did, that's for sure. I also cut away the leaves that were yellow, but I didn't cut them from the base. I tried one and there was still something green inside. It's this one, so I'm not gonna cut them to the base because I presume it's still green, it's still viable. It is producing new growth, so that shall remain on. I am so happy to see new roots. Alrighty, let's tidy up and pot this orchid back. So I will not be using a new pot and a new medium. This is perfectly fine. I'm just gonna dump out a little bit of the medium. And let's see, this is still too high. This is a much better level. So I'm just gonna put back the medium around the orchid. 
And here's the finished product. The level is a lot more decent now. The roots don't have to travel all that much, so I think it will be better. The orchid is looking slightly better. Oh, she's still not looking great, but with all those dried leaves, it really looked terrible. And I am excited for what I saw. I'm excited for those root tips. I was gentle and I don't think I damaged them. Hopefully this one will do okay. We are approaching winter, so theoretically temperatures should be to her liking. So when summer comes next year, maybe she's gonna be stronger than she is now. But hey, if she survived one month on transport in the middle of summer and oh so my summer, I think she's a keeper. <laughs> Makes me a little bit more hopeful for Mazdevalias. Still, my environment is really not suited for them unless I alter it in a way. So this has been the update and the maintenance on my Mastavalia orchid. Hope you enjoyed it. I actually liked what I saw in the medium. I was expecting for much worse, let me tell you. But yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll grow Mastavalias. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid and plants videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye! So I was telling you I have some grasshopper issues. Now, grasshoppers are tiny cute little things. I'm not dealing with grasshoppers though. I'm dealing with monsters. Help. I seriously don't know what I'm gonna do about this. But my boyfriend already said he cannot help, so I should run. And I think I will before this thing jumps.